Hey creators and voice actors, today we are testing the Fifine K688. I have two of them right here, and we're gonna use them with this handy dandy $29 budget audio interface, the Taeyun Q12. So you might be wondering why I'm in a car right now, and that's because we're visiting my close family friend, the Orban Manong Zak Bulata right there, drinking some soda. Oh wait, is that water? Say hi. <laughs> That is a lot of gear. Hey, Kriazak! Hey. hey! Welcome to the channel! Let's zoom into that face! <laughs> hello! Oh, hello! Is the studio ready? Oh, the studio is ready for you. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Let's get out of this. How do you, how do you there do? she is! New studio! Oh, hello! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the studio. Yes! Oh, wow! Is that coffee? What is our rig for today? This is, ooh, this is an old uh, laptop. This is a, I think, let's see. Is that a ThinkPad? It is a ThinkPad. X2 something? X240, if I'm not mistaken. Nice! It's a very old laptop, but it, but it still works. And I got the uh, dock system to add more USB connections to it. Where's the dock? Oh, you actually yeah. got the dock. I got the dock. What's up, dock? What's up, dock? Plenty of connectivity. <laughs> What's up, dock? There we go. And for our cameras, we have a Fuji X-T100 right there. Oh, yeah. So, I usually have two cameras set up. Dude, this is light! Right, so we have our Taeyun Q12 right here. We're gonna put the microphones here. I was supposed to bring a full-size mic stand, but thankfully it does come with a 5 8 inch to 3 8 inch thread adapter. To fit into these tabletop stands. Yes, the adapter is included. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. You can use it on any type of thread. <laughs> Wi-Fi yeah. is so fine. It is so fine. Got a very simple U-Green budget XLR cable right here. And would you look at that. Doesn't that look like a podcast setup already? <laughs> Looks like a professional podcast setup. I got two yes. monitors here, Shure and Audio-Technica. Would you mind using the Shure? Oh, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> never gets old. So the impedance of these headphones are pretty low and short. They're not like super studio grade uh, headphones. They are studio monitor headphones, not used for mixing, just monitoring. And I hope that with this simple splitter, we can get to listen, both listen to the audio from the K688. So one of the things we're gonna have to put up with is this window type AC right here. As you can hear, it is noisy. Looking good, bro. Nah. I look like a professional podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. We are live. We are live. Okay. Actually, the first thing is, what do you think of the Fifine K688 microphone? Okay. First impression, my gosh. I like how it looks. I mean, the look... The it's, look. Th the look gives me some, you know, professional feels. Yes. It feels professional. It is 90% of what people are paying for. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But once I held it, mm -hmm. man, it felt really, really light. Really, really light. Really light. It's yeah. like... You said it was uh, lighter than a BM-800? Yeah. Way lighter than a BM-800. And I've had, I've had experience with BM-800s. Right. Man. Pair that with a super light Taeyun Q12, roughly 200 plus grams. This is a mobile rig. Yeah, a completely mobile platform that you can take with you anywhere. It won't feel, you won't feel like you're carrying a studio with you. But it is a studio, essentially. <laughs> it is a studio. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I wonder how this sounds considering the uh, window type AC there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Window type, wall type, whatever. No, we'll find out. <laughs> we will find out. Depends on what country you're from. Pretty cool thing. Can actually get rid of the dead cat. They call it a dead cat. Really? Yeah. And it, it comes oh. off really slowly, like super easily. Oh dear. Yeah, and and, and for me, I mean, it doesn't look podcasty. Maybe this is more for recording. Mm -hmm. um, it might pick up more of your pops and clicks. <laughs> for ASMR. <laughs> for ASMR. 
<laughs> but but um, it does you know it, it does enhance your highs. It captures them with in a more articulate manner. Okay. Yeah. So personally, you know, because people are saying, oh, the SM7B sounds very muffled. Well, take the windscreen off. A lot of musicians do that. Sounds mm-hmm. so much better. I agree. Same thing applies to the K6 um, 88. Okay. Yeah. So it works without them. It does, it does, but you know, it is a bit more prone to those plosives. I'm not going to demonstrate them mm-hmm. for your ears. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, might as well. <laughs> yeah, but you know, for the podcast look, unless we're trying to look, you know, nerdy. Yeah. You know. And it looks better with the, uh, with the, with the foam on. Point number two How do you use audio in your work? How do you use it as a photographer? Uh, as a. F- <laughs> Because yeah, I mean, uh, in photo video, I can I, I still use audio in video in video, yeah. But for for photography, I'm I'm not sure. I I, I make a lot of noise. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> distracted. So, uh, free for come, come on, don't forget to smile. Come on. For those of you who don't know, the Urban Manong Isaac Bulata was also a voice actor. <laughs> so, voice actor on the yeah. side, photography photographer on the side. Yes. Everything's on the side because I like side dishes. You like side dishes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm not such a fan of my sides. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yes, side dishes. Let me ask you this. Okay. How do you think AI is impacting audio and creative work? Because lately we've seen a lot of, you know, uh, posts and articles about uh, yeah. AI. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, I think. Um, you know, it's a really it's such a big thing. It's a very ethical, moral discussion. Um, yeah, definitely, there's that side that it will take some opportunities from people, um, and it, we're not we're not um, downplaying that. Though um, right now, it is very important for voice actors to continue to level up because you know, um, essentially, voiceover AI is replacing the entry level voice actors. But if you're able to create stories, tell stories with your mm-hmm. voice, and mm-hmm. oh my goodness, like add substance to your add voice. substance to your voice, th- that is irreplaceable. Yeah, fine, there are some AIs that are getting pretty complex nowadays, but goodness, being you know, would you rather type that into the AI as a prompt or just tell the voice actor and bam, they get to do it, right? Mm, yeah, plus you get you, you get several samples from yeah the voice actor. a lot of yeah. samples they are uh, you know it's still different to to get voice acting from a living thinking valuable human being yeah. and if you're bad at directing yeah. your voice actor can also you know pitch in on some stuff like yeah. they can recommend what to do absolutely Overall, I think getting two Fifine K688s and using them with the Taeyun Q12 is a steal of a setup. Add the basic XLR cables and the headphone splitter, and that's just roughly $240 for a fully functional podcast setup. All that gear would add up to only roughly a little over a kilogram, so that's still lighter than your average 14-inch laptop. Just remember that the Taeyun does have an audible buzz sound, so you have to be really close to your microphone to maximize the signal-to-noise ratio. Did you think the setup was worth it? Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to this channel because it really does motivate me to make more videos like this one. And here's another video you might like.